Okay, it's Friday afternoon and Roger and I were doing other things, getting ready to go to dinner. And we wound up in a store, not Goodwill, next to Goodwill. So of course we have to go right into Goodwill. An Ed Hardy tote bag. Okay, I'm filming on my phone, so this is gonna be difficult. How cool is this? Ed Hardy. Do we love an Ed Hardy tote bag? Yes, we do. And even better, look at this big basket. Now the basket's not the treasure, even though it's super great. We love this. It's the Tiffany and Company Demi Pass Cup and Saucer. What? What? Everybody just passing them by. I'm like, oh, that looks like something. Just gorgeous. How many are there? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I would need one more. I'll probably sell eight of them and just hold one back in case of breakage. But how great is this basket? $4.99. It is a buttocks basket. Unfortunately, it does have damage in the bottom, but I might buy it anyway because it's so good. All right, guys, this is what I do on my day off. Hit that like and subscribe button. I always take you with me. Okay, it's the saddest day of my life, truly the saddest. I have to put this basket back. I can't be saving things. I'm not that type of shopper. I am all about the profit, and this one has holes, but look how beautiful this is. Can I just say how beautiful this is? And it's only $4. But the problem is it has holes in the bottom. See it? It's got a hole there and a hole there and a couple of loose reeds. But this would be stunningly gorgeous in an outside setting, like on a patio where people had potted plants coming from it. I have never seen a buttocks basket that looked like this. This is all handmade. It's just killing me. And you're probably yelling at me saying, buy it, buy it, but I can't start doing that. If I start doing that on this level, yeah, my house would become a hoarder house, but this is so good, so good. And it's signed by the artist. Okay, am I talking myself into it or out of it? All right, you guys gonna be mad at me if I don't buy it? I want it, but what would I do with it? It can't be in the house, it's gotta be out of the house, I know that. Ah, it's not the money, because it's only $4, but that's not the point. Isn't it really good? All right, stay tuned of whether I buy this or not. So you guys all know that this is a bed warmer. Look how big this is. Look at that. <laughs> I have never seen the pole so long. Is that real? I almost feel like that's a real one. I don't think that's a reproduction. Is it? Is it marked? And it's got engraving on it. Okay, this might be the real thing. There are so many reproductions. I really think this is the real thing. 999. No marks. I'm still say we use it for making popcorn. <laughs> for making popcorn? <laughs> On a campfire. Like Jiffy Pop? <laughs> Jiffy Pop. <laughs> Sit there and just go like that. I have to clean it first now. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking this up. Right I think there. that's a genuine bed warmer. All right, if it's worth a million dollars, it's mine. If it's worth $9.99, it's all you. Okay, guys, you know how my new tub is color changing? <laughs> Roger just picked this out for me. <laughs> this is the kind of gifts I have to look forward to getting. Color changing LED toilet paper holder. It's you like... get all the different colors, green, pink, and purple. <laughs> there's, your, there's your colors. <laughs> I'll stick with the tub, thanks. Okay, it is Monday morning, Senior Citizen Day at Goodwill Shillington. It's really Senior Citizen Day at every Goodwill. 15% off and 50% off of some color. We don't know the color yet. Do we know the color today? What does it say? Red tag. I love red tag. It makes it easy to find what you're looking for. Ah, looking for a good cart is another situation. Get out of here, I got a good cart. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. All right, let's go inside. Today I'm looking for clothing. Not to say I won't buy hard goods, but definitely looking for clothing. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check out Red Tag. Hopefully we find lots of clothing. I want big clothing today. Oh, what is this Hawaiian shirt? Aloha Republic. Well, that's interesting. 
made in Hawaii. Now it's not red tag, but ooh, this is a good one. Look at the hula girls. I am in the store five seconds. This stuff finds me. Okay, it is $8, but I am gonna put this in my cart because that is super sweet. I think these two racks of dresses are just an overflow because they have so many dresses here. So again, this is Shillington Goodwill, Pennsylvania. What does this say? Something lab, design lab. I don't think that's all that terrific. A little black dress. These are all black tag. What is this here? This is super cute. Oh, I don't know who that is. No label? Okay, so that would be the front, right? This would be the back. Maybe the label is further down. Huh. Let's take a look at this. I really like that. Cold shoulder? It is. What are they getting for dresses? $8. That's not totally unreasonable. It's got a sheer sleeve, but again, no branding. How could a dress have no branding unless the prior person cut it out because it was bothering them? All right, I think I'm gonna put this back. Blue threads, cute. Debbie Morgan, I don't know who that is. Oh, I do like this one here. It's kind of a pretty print. Again, no branding. Am I in a weird dream where nothing is branded? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I see a tag. Okay, this is called Monaco Nights. I don't know who Monaco Nights is. Very pretty though. There's a white lace dress. Christina, $7.99, again cute. It's a very sparkly dress. I always think of Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man when he says, you're very sparkly. <laughs> that was such a good movie. All right. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's covered in pearls. All right, so we have linens over here. I think what I'm gonna do is look for red tags um, in all the sections. So we're gonna start in PJs. I love to look at PJs. I think it's a very underrated category because if you find uh, vintage PJs, if you find vintage Victoria's Secret, different house coats do well. See how this tag is like very shredded? That's usually a sign of a vintage. This one might be just because it's a cheap, but this is a pearl snap front. Unfortunately, it has a stain and the quality is not there. I do pick up quite a few house coats. House coats do well. Brings a solid 22 to 27 usually. I don't even know that that's pajamas. I think that's a dress. Some pants. I pick up a lot of caftans. So if you guys have been watching my channel, I've been picking up caftans at a clip. I don't know what that says. Seven Islands? That's kind of pretty. What do they want for it? it? Doesn't really look that big. I like the really big caftans. I think I'm gonna wear a big caftan. All right. Pierre Cardon, this is a vintage men's robe. Now, if this is a good price, $6.95 too high, I would have paid $5 for that. I don't think Pierre Cardin robes are still made. I don't know who this is. Not even gonna try to say that name. The pink is pretty. Oh, Matron of Honor, how sweet. On the other side of the aisle are jackets. This one is not red tag, but I do like this. It's a beautiful, velvet in a teal color. It's a jacket, Chico's 2, which I believe is a 12. The funny thing about it is these are buttons, but this one is cracked. This one is black, black, and then it's got a white. It's like an abalone shell. Yeah, the buttons are damaged, unfortunately. I would have to replace all the buttons. Now, if I was getting this for $5, I'm still on the fence about it because it's such a beautiful jacket. Do I want to replace buttons? Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to put it in the cart, believe it or not, to think about it. That's a very nice jacket. Okay, let's stop the video here for a second. So although I really loved this Chico's Velvet jacket, I felt like that price point was high for a jacket that had so much damage to the buttons. Any buyer is going to have to replace all of the buttons. I did wind up bringing the jacket up to a manager at the very end and asked the manager if she would consider a small discount since I would have to replace all of the buttons. Now this store knows me, they know what kind of money I bring to the store and the manager said nope, she was sticking to her price point. So I feel this jacket is either going to wind up in the landfill or I don't know, maybe somebody will purchase it. Leave a comment down below if you think that Goodwill should have the authority to lower a price point a little little bit if something has damage. Sadly, I left it behind. Passing by the linens, they always look up and down the aisles to see if anything catches my eye. What is this? This has embroidery on it. Again, a lot of work. Seems to be maybe a crib skirt, like a bed skirt, but for a crib. Let's see if we can find a branding on it. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is Junk Gypsy for Pottery Barn Kids. That is sweet, but a crib skirt isn't gonna bring more than, I don't know, $12, $15. So I'm gonna leave this behind. What does Goodwill want for it? They want $4. Very hard to photo a bed skirt. You could do it flat out on the floor, but it really doesn't look nice. And um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a crib skirt. I'm gonna leave this one behind, but if I can find a comp for it, I'll include it here. Okay, so I'm gonna look in the plus size short sleeve shirts for red tags. Sometimes the tags stick out, sometimes they don't. Liz and me, I would think. Liz and me, $4.99 red tag for a knitted t-shirt, but I like the embellishment. So for $2.50, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart. Here's another red tag sticking out. Lane Bryant, 1820. Oh, that's cute. It's like a wrap, a wrap situation. But you can see what happens with these. Everybody always winds up pinning them. So we're gonna leave that one behind, but I think this one would have been 250 also. Yes. So if you can find 499 tags and it's half price. 250 is a no-brainer if it's a decent item to pick up. So when I pay 250 for something, I'm trying to get 16 for it. Doesn't always happen, but that is the the goal. CW Classics. What is this black blouse? I like the sleeve on that. Oh, new rack coming out. That's the green tags. I think that might be the current color. So they're gonna have the most of them. I could be making that up. Oh, Lane Bryant, it's pretty. Oh, what is this one here? Chalet, this is made in USA. Let's see what they want for this one. Oh, it's red tag, $6.99. That is a keeper. I like this name, I do well with it. Anytime something's made in the United States, always causes me to pause and take a look at it. Who is this? Dress Barn. Now you guys laugh. I sell a lot of Dress Barn. Oh, this one's new with tags. Now if it's a good price, 3X, so that is good. $8.99. Oh, a little high, but it is new with tags. I might think about that. What would I need to get? I would need to get about 27 for that. Mm, I think now. I think I'll wait on that. Oh, this print is gorgeous. Oh, size small. This is tucked in here. This is anthropology. That is a stunner. Look at the print on that. It almost reminds me of a Liberty of London print. Do you guys know Liberty of London? Okay, so this is $7. Again, they're recognizing that it's a good brand, but look at the style. I think this sleeve is called a poet sleeve. And again, I've been talking about the elastic smocking, and this has it on the cuff. Wish this was a medium. I would keep it, but I'm keeping it to resell. All right. I'm still looking for the tag. So like I said, Monday is Senior Citizens Discount. This is $6.99 for a Jordache. Mm, 
thinking no on that. I kind of hesitate when it's a sheer blouse because then the buyer has to have a cami to put underneath it. And that could be a mistake, but I usually don't go for something that's totally sheer. Now here's a sheer one, but it has an under layer. So that is nice. This is just CJ Banks, yellow tag. No, $7 never for CJ Banks for me. Everybody, everybody does different, but that's how I do it. I love a good animal print. Joan Leslie, look at the neck dirt on that tag. Made in Guatemala, $4.99. Do I want to wash this? You know, I might take a chance on this one because it's red tag and I will just give it a good soak. Okay, now when I soak things, that just means I'm putting them in the washing machine, putting the soap in and letting them sit there for a while to think about it. Pam and Gella. I don't know who Pam and Gella is. Is this Mexico? What does that say? Made in India. Mm, nope, gonna wait on that one. Okay, who is this? That's a cute print. Azalea. Okay, 3X, $6.99. Nope, gonna wait on that one too. Sometimes I just use my intuition. It's not like I always run comps for everything. All right, a lot of times I do run comps though. It's usually around July that I start to try to stockpile sweaters for the coming cold weather. I do look for sweaters that are hand knit. I look for sweaters that I believe it's pronounced intarsia. <laughs> I look for sweaters made in Ireland and Scotland that are 100% wool. Of course, I look for Laurel Piana, always, always Laurel Piana anything. I look for sweaters that'll have a big graphic of like a cat or a bunny or a bear. Uh, what else do I look for? Merino wool sometimes, but more so cashmere. Almost any sweater that is a decent to good quality cashmere is a yes. Cashmere does really well in my store. So a lot of times I'm going by feel to feel. This I can feel is an acrylic. I think using the sense of touch is one of the best things for sweaters. This is Max Studio, little cardigan. So not a lot of red tags. They're pulling red tags already. So the store, because they don't want to fall behind, will pull the color tag a little bit early. And I don't know if they're pulling them today, come to think of it. They probably pull them more so on Tuesday. So tomorrow they'll get pulled. This is Lord & Taylor. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. $8. I'm going to wait on that one. That's more like a sweatshirt. And I'm really looking for the chunky knits. Oh, this is quite pretty. This is a burnout velvet. So when you see a burnout velvet... That's the first sign that you want to take a look at it. It's kind of like the velvet has a texture to it where it's been cut out or it's applied. I don't know how to describe that. Up, oh, this is Hale Bob. And that is a pretty one. Okay, $7. But if that doesn't sell, I would wear that. So that's going in the cart. Here's another name I wanted to show you guys. This is not a sweater. This is a men's flannel shirt, the softest one ever. This is Faraday. I usually don't share certain brands because they're very hard to get. Faraday is one of my top brands. So I'm showing it to you guys today. This one is $6. I'll try to report back on what this brings. This thing is stunning. Men's extra large, and there's the brand. Here is a brand that I didn't recognize. This is RD and Coco. When I looked it up, this is Anthropology. But look at the embroidery on this. How could you not know this is something? It's got like a beautiful ribbon trim on the cuff. Again, a poet's sleeve. Gorgeous. This could be Aztec. Lots of different names for this one. And the detailing is just so pretty. It's like an open front jacket and extra large. Both of those things good. And what are they getting for this? Here is the tag down here. Let's take a look at this. $6.99. So $7, but it's also the 15% off for Senior Citizen Day. So this one is a definite yes. Again, I'll try to include comps. Today is Monday. Of course, we're back in Goodwill right at, oh, and Roger's breaking things. 
<laughs> Quite sure. <laughs> it's all good, nothing broke. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um, yeah, we're back in the same Goodwill after being in Shillington. This is, yeah, we're here all the time. A primitive box. Look at those old nails. This would be great for primitive and farmhouse. $3. It's got a lovely weathered paint finish. Definitely picking this up. Looks like it's just like handmade homemade so i'm going to move this way and put stuff in this cart first this laundry basket i said why does this look so different number one it's old but this is made in hungary i don't know that i'm getting this but i thought you guys would want to see this made in hungary does that make it any more valuable than a laundry basket that's vintage or antique made in america i don't know i do like the style of this so i am thinking about it this is 3.99 Okay, and the most amazing find of the day. Look at this Victoria Ware Flow Blue. I don't know what it is, Planter Jardinier. Stunning, in gorgeous condition. $19.99, so it is up priced a little bit. It has the vintage dirt in it. Do we love this? Absolutely, yes. I'm very hopeful for this piece. I'm gonna try to gently turn it over to show you the bottom. Hopefully it doesn't break. Please don't break. Ooh, it is heavy. Iron stone is always heavy. Okay, of course it's upside down. Let me see if I can go around the cart. I'm gonna show you the mark. Victoria Ware Iron Stone. Okay, so that finishes cart number one. I'm gonna gently put this down again. I'm always doing things with one hand. So precarious. All right, so now we'll put the basket this way, right on top, and our primitive painted box. I picked up two picture frames, similar. These aren't really that old, but I do like the dragonfly design. They are wood picture frames. Mid-quality, I would call these, but they're $3 each, so definitely gonna get those. I'm not sure where the other one is. Up oh, here it is, down here. Okay, so we're definitely getting those. Here is an owl macrame wall hanging. He's got a little pocket. I guess you could put a planter. Let's see if I can hang him here so I can show it to you. Hang there, little owl. See this here? I think a pot goes in there. How adorable is that? What are we paying for this? We are paying $4.99. So that is a definite yes. I think these are in demand. We're gonna put him in there. Roger got some clothing. I grabbed these Nike sneakers. I think these are Air Force. I'm gonna to have to look them up. Really nice. Where is the price on this? $12.99, so that's a maybe. Kinda of like those for me. And what else do we have here? I found some stirrups. So this is what they look like. These are a little bit high. These are $9.99. And Tory Leather is the company making this strap. I haven't found the marking on the stirrup yet, so I'm gonna be looking for that. I would imagine these are marked. We're gonna put those in the basket. And last but not least, Denon, D-E-N-O-N. -E this is a sound set. We got the receiver, we've got the CD changer, and amplifier, I think. So I think I'm gonna flip these on Facebook Marketplace, probably. All right, Roger got clothes and a Minecraft toy. Yeah, and that's what, oh, I almost missed it. I see a little gold shiny thing down here. <laughs> it is a single candlestick, but I do like this design. This is older, $2.99. It's a very cool photo holder. I don't know what the pair is about. Oh. <laughs> A dangly leg wood cat. How much are you? What? $9.99? Oh, he's really cute. Come on, Goodwill, $9.99. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave him sitting on the shelf. He is a shelf sitter. Somebody's watching somebody's videos. Not saying who. Oh, this is pretty, be still. And the only time I'm still is when I'm sleeping, and even then, it's questionable. Oh, 
What is this little guy? $2.99. I wonder what he holds. Maybe letters or bills. He's iron. It's kind of cute. What am I looking for? I have no idea. It's that time of the day. It's probably about 3.30. That time of the day where I'm just enjoying perusing the shelves. It's a little gnome up here. All right, that cat, dangly leg cat is staying in my mind. I think they're just taking advantage now. It's a hummingbird wall art. Somebody made this, they painted it. Not a bad job. It's kind of neat looking. Oh, I see a cat up there. I wonder how much he is. Do you see him? I don't even know if I can reach that. Let's put this guy somewhere safe. Let's see if we can reach this guy. Wow, that was a struggle. Oh, he's good, $3.99. Oh, I really like him. Why is the other one $9.99 and he's $3.99, but not complaining. I will quickly grab him. All right, lots of tchotchkes. The tchotchke shelves are filled. Oh, I think I see Holly Hobby. I don't think she's really a thing anymore. Is it Holly Hobby or Precious Moments? Precious Moments. Oh, how cute. Precious Moments, a little tree. The only Precious Moments I know that bring money are the nativity set. So leave a comment down below if you guys know of other Precious Moments uh, figurines that do well online. All right, guys. So I'm telling you, it is always a treasure hunt. And this is one of my favorite stores to do a hunt in. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Here is a shot that many of you might recognize. This is the break front in the dining room. And this is the room that I YouTube and do hauls in. You guys have seen this room from the very beginning, but here is a new DIY project Roger and I have done. We have saved every card and letter of congratulations for our wedding, and we put them under the glass of this break front. That way, all of these memories are preserved for us. All of your kind words, everybody just sending us wedding cards. We are overwhelmed. Thank you so much, guys. I love the way this turned out. Just a quick project our picture that my neighbor made from the video. She actually captured a screenshot and included it in her wedding card. And then all of you guys, your love surrounds us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys and love you guys. Here are a few of the more interesting pieces I found. <laughs> I feel like the basket is like the elephant in the room. So I did go back and forth, but somewhere in my heart, I knew I was taking this basket because it's just so spectacular. I've never seen a basket like this, and I've looked at a lot of baskets. I've personally owned a lot of baskets. I'm very into baskets, and I sell a lot of baskets. All right, so first we're going to remind each other of the price, $4.00. That was a little bit of the driving factor, and it is also signed up here, VC. 1982 definitely makes it vintage and the work is just I don't know how people are so talented how are people so talented so as you can see it has a very irregular opening which is lined by this I don't know is this bittersweet total guess very pliable vine and then it's woven I could picture the artist just sitting out in a beautiful wooded lane or alley I don't know and just weaving this. This thing is amazing. The thing that held me back is the damage to it. There's quite a few. I'm going to say one, two, three. Okay, so maybe three. Um, did I count that one? I did. Up oh, a little bit of damage here. Four. So you can see with that kind of damage, it kind of puts you into a conundrum like this thing is so spectacular. I almost think this belongs in like a museum or something. I did try to Google it quickly. I have not done a Google image on this yet, but I will do it and include any screenshots I find of similar baskets. And this one will be sold on Facebook Marketplace. I'll see what happens there. But truthfully, I don't mind holding on to this for a little while until it sells. So $4.00. It's, you know, there's no risk there. 
Next, I'm going to move to this beautiful Jardinier planter. Those are my words. I don't see that written anywhere. $19.99. It's funny because I rarely spend that kind of money on one item. I always watch my buy-in price, but I didn't even care what this thing cost. So beautiful. This is Flow Blue. I think that is correct. And I'm going to walk around it so you can see the gorgeous condition besides the spider webs and the dirt. I haven't washed it yet. Beautiful. No chips, no cracks, a gorgeous scene. I am going to put the camera down and flip it over so I can show you the mark again. And I couldn't believe my luck in scoring this. Just so gorgeous. All right, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so here is the crested mark. Two lions. This is Victoria Ware Ironstone, and boy, does it feel like Ironstone. This thing is heavy. Now, I don't think this is from like the 1800s or 1700s. I feel like this is probably from 1980, maybe. So correct me if you know about Victoria Ware Ironstone and share any knowledge you have. I did quickly do a uh, an eBay search now, I did find, of course, Victoria Ware Ironstone, but I did not find the Jardinier. I don't believe I did. I looked very quickly, and I have to do research, but um, at $20, still a no-brainer. Definitely, definitely will not ship this on eBay. No way. This one's definitely being either sold on Facebook Marketplace Local Pickup or eBay Local Pickup.